Sorry about that, people. But for some reason, the camera got stuck. And I had to start again, so sorry about that. Here we go, starting over again on our beautiful Bermuda Drive. Hopefully, we will not lose the camera this time. And we're off. some excitement as the ambulance is coming. Got to pull over. That was unexpected. followers hang out with us on this Bermuda Drive. We're on the um, southern end of the island. Right now we're in Devonshire but we're soon entering Hedget. that you have to visit if you ever come to Bermuda. We have our agricultural exhibition there every year. We have horse jumping and horse racing. Not horse racing, I'm sorry. Horse shows there. Horse jumping, mostly. with your hearts. As you can see, we have many mopeds in Bermuda. Many mopeds. That's the easiest way to get around. We're in the Paget area now. In Paget, that's where the hospital is. Speed limit in Bermuda is 25 miles per hour, if you can imagine going that slow, or 32 kilometers. And mostly that's because there are lots of tiny roads we drive on the left hand side. And there are little, there are roads, there are only two vehicle roads, so we don't have big highways, but some people clearly go a little faster than speed limit. Like that feather. Could be a girl for all I know. I mean the weather is not so good today. Like not so good at all. Drive 
drive along in Bermuda, you can't help but appreciate the trees and the colorful houses and you know it's it's just beautiful here and I I mean obviously I'm gonna be a bit biased because I you know I live here but clearly it is a place where you would want to come and visit the camera that doesn't seem to want to cooperate with us today. Let's see if we can get it in a better position. This feels I've gotten this fancy thing. I say it doesn't work at all. Maybe we have a winner there. This is one of our grocery stores. And this is the South Shore side of the island where a lot of our hotels are. We have the famous Alba Beach. Over here is where our Bermuda College, our only college is. Some tourists staying at the bus stop. There's the Cocoa Reefs where you can stay next to a beautiful beach. And we have the famous Elbow Beach Hotel. If you're not following me already, be sure that you follow me so that you can see other beautiful sites of our of the country. I'm always periscoping different places in Bermuda because I'm just in love with my country. I know that sounds kind of corny, but I actually love this country. That's where the famous Elbow Beach is. It's a five-star hotel. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, we also have um, other hotels and cottages. As you can see, our houses are white rooftops. You are absolutely welcome. Definitely, you are welcome. I think if you haven't seen it in years, it's time to come back and visit. Or just follow me on Periscope and I'll take you on some rides and journeys with me as I believe in advertising my country, encouraging people to visit, so absolutely welcome. This is now coming further on the south shore side of the island where a lot of the beaches are. Bermuda has some of the most beautiful beaches you ever want to see. And when I get closer, to the famous Horseshoe Bay Beach. I'll stop the car and take a shot of it for you. I'll let you see the Horseshoe Bay Beach. Um, hopefully we'll get there before it gets too dark. That's one of our buses. Our buses are pink and blue. Yes, absolutely. Do. Do come. And when you come, let me know. I always like to meet people. Followers, encourage them to come on board and go on this ride with us. It's funny, in just a short time since we've been driving, it's getting darker and darker. It's such a short time.
22 kilometers, 25 miles per hour. As you can see, Bermuda's roads are fairly narrow, and there are lots of turns and corners and nooks and crannies you can get into, as I call them, a lot of side roads. This is one of my favorite areas. Welcome, welcome. Welcome all. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting my scoop. Thank you for following me. I appreciate that. as we go by. We have these rooftops that are made of white limestone. And the reason that is, is because our water comes from rainwater. Most of the time, just went across my house. Okay. Didn't toot. Sorry. There you go. There's a toot. You heard that? <laughs> There's your toot. For me going past your house and not to you. So, <laughs> that one, that one too. Okay. I'm hoping that we can get to the beach before it gets dark. And you know the weather's changing because you see more people are walking now, taking advantage of daylight saving get in some exercise. I could take a hint from that. Nah. Anyway, I'm not so bad. I, I have signed up for an activity class called Be Active. Shout out to my good friend Betty. Stop. Um, well, it's not so dark. I think if I get to the beach in enough time, I'll at least be able to show you from the roadside, what Bermuda's beaches look like for those that are following from overseas. I know I have some overseas followers. Definitely want you to come to Bermuda, people. Oh, I'm excited. I don't know about you all, but I love my country. I love my country. I can't imagine living anywhere else in the world. Though one day I certainly plan to leave Bermuda and go live somewhere else. But right now, I'm content. Yes, please, beach, I haven't seen that. Okay, let's see if I can get, all right, this is a treat. Okay, people, invite your followers real quick. I'm gonna get out and show you a picture of the beach. Okay, hold on. Get ready. This is for all of the people that are following overseas. This is Warwick Long Bay. It still looks gorgeous, even at night. even at night. This is one of the most beautiful beaches in Bermuda, Warwick Long Bay Beach. Look at those waves. And trust me when I tell you, that sand is pink. That sand is pink. That water is still a gorgeous blue, even in the dark. Even in the dark, that is still some of the most beautiful water you will ever see. And this is a trail where people go horseback riding. I 
I promise that if you follow me, I will definitely make sure that I show you some of the best spots in Bermuda during the daytime. Can't really appreciate them at night, but during the day, I will take you to some of our beaches. Certainly this summer over the next couple of weeks. All right, so I'm gonna get back in the car now. This is me, by the way. Some traffic. This is me. Peace, people. So, I'm gonna get back in the car now. So we can hurry up and get to Horseshoe Bay Beach before it gets too dark. Hey, I'm pretty dark. Oh, there I am. All right. Hold on, people. Okay, let's get in the car and let's set you back up. Let's see if we can get to Horseshoe Bay. Oh, keep slipping. Let's go back the other way. Um, I'm not off anywhere. I actually was dressed up like this uh, for my union meeting earlier today. If anybody knows me, you know that I I love wearing bow ties and I just love dressing up. I mean, I think that's a lost art, you know. I think people are very comfortable to just do on anything and thank you. Do on anything and go outside of your house. But when I grew up, my grandma always used to say to me, when you leave your house, you should be looking your best because you never know who you're going to run into and you're a reflection of your family. So I've always loved bow ties. As a, even as a little kid, I always loved, loved bow ties. So it wasn't uh, acceptable back then as a kid for a girl to wear bow ties. But no, hey, I'm an adult, so I can do whatever I want how it goes. This is our regiment here, the Bermuda Regiment. That's their war camp. That's their outpost. Let me put back on my seatbelt so I'm not committing any offenses. And it looks like if I speed up a little bit, I might just get to Horseshoe Bay before it gets completely dark. And if I don't, Definitely, I will make sure I scope Horseshoe Bay during the day. In fact, I will go down there one day and scope for you. Stop speeding. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not speeding, really. I'm going as slow as I could possibly go without crawling. This is one of our sports club called Rangers. Rangers. That's their slogan. This, my peeps, is Horseshoe Bay Beach. That's the entrance to it, but we're not going down there. Horseshoe Bay Beach is world famous. Many people come to Bermuda just to go to Horseshoe Bay Beach. So I'm going to pull over. Hopefully it's not so dark that we can see it from the top. If I can get a decent spot. I might not be able to, but we'll see. Okay, let me grab this. Let's turn off the car and go outside here. Alright, oh my goodness. You can still see it, people. This is famous Horseshoe Bay Beach. It's just a little dark. Nah. I think that's the best I can do in this lighting, people. This is Horseshoe Bay Beach, Bermuda. This is the best I can do in this lighting. I promise you, if you follow me, I will make sure you see it during the daytime. 
trust me when I tell you it is absolutely gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous oh can you hear the waves really wow I know I I mean it sounds yeah they do sound kind of loud now tell me can you hear the tree frogs those called those are called our whistling frogs I don't think I can sleep without them tell you the truth yeah if you're a Bermudian you hear that it's a little whistle Can you hear them? If you're a Bermudian, trust me when I tell you, you cannot sleep without those tree frogs, those whistling frogs. And during the summer, sometimes we go to Horseshoe Bay Beach or we go to the beaches or the waterside and you just pitch up your tent and you camp out and you go to sleep with the waves and the whistling frogs and it's absolutely paradise all right people it's kind of damp out here so that's Horseshoe Bay Beach for now. So I'm getting back in my little car. There's my little car. My little small high and die. Let's get back in the car. And put you back up in your spot. And we're going to drive along as we continue. On our journey. Oh, it was peaceful, I have to say. You know, Bermuda, as with anywhere else in the world, can be very stressful because life can be very stressful. But one of the absolute joys for me in Bermuda is to just find a place and just just sit there for hours. My favorite spot is Watcher's Hill. I'll take you there one day. And just sit there for hours and hours and just listen to the waves. I can't think of anything more peaceful. In fact, that is one of my stress relievers, to just go there and sit by the waves. I definitely will take you there. You gotta swipe up and make sure you follow me, people. So on my right is one of the famous um, golf courses and the famous hotels in Bermuda called Southampton Princess. And as we come around the corner, you'll see our lighthouse. we hang out by the water as much as we can for as long as we can to my left this is another um, beach area it used to be Sinesta Beach yep yep you're right I'm headed to Gibbs Hill I'm not going up to the lighthouse though but I'm in the lighthouse area. We used to have a, a, a hotel down there called the Sinasta Beach Hotel. And that hotel was um, torn down. And they said they were gonna build another hotel in that area. I don't know how that panned out. But I'm gonna quickly give you a view of where it used to be for the person that says you haven't been to Bermuda for a long time. This is where Sinasta used to be. 
And now it's just so weird because it's just this big open space. But I hear they're going to be building another hotel there. Let me quickly jump out again. Boy, you guys got me working today. Hold on. This is where Sinesta used to be. And it's no more. I don't know if you can see it. But it still has a gorgeous beach area down there. And of course, to the right of the Sinesta is the famous reef. The reef hotel. I have never stayed at the reefs, but I'm going to put it on my bucket list because I can only imagine how beautiful it must be to stay down there at night in one of the rooms. Somebody type for me, put that on your bucket list, Linda, so that when I review this video, I will remember to put this on my bucket list. I'll see it come up. I appreciate somebody doing that for me. Now, if we look up here, if you see that light shining, dude, there's the lighthouse. Can you see it? gonna go around again here it comes that's the lighthouse people wait here it comes again there it is oh romantic couple walking along I tell you Bermuda is definitely the place to be in love okay All right, people, I'm going to have to leave you here. I am close to my destination. I hope you all enjoyed this um, Bermuda ride. As I say, follow me on Periscope, and I will make sure that you see some more of my beautiful country. As you will see from my profile, that I use my Periscope for positivity, for um, talking about issues, but mostly just for just for a place of peace and happiness. You know, so much Periscope is about sex, this and twerk that, and all sorts of foolishness. And I really just want to have a place where I can share with you all my beautiful country and some positive thoughts. So thank you for coming. Thank you for driving with me. Make sure you follow me. Make sure you invite your followers to follow me. Okay, sir. You came out of nowhere. I'm not going to run you over. Make sure you encourage your followers to follow me. And as much as I can, I will take you on my drives with me. So you For those of you who are in Bermuda, you can remember and appreciate what an absolutely beautiful country we have. This is the entrance to the reefs. There's some mopeds. When you come to Bermuda, you rent a moped and you hang out all over the island with a moped. This is a little The other reason I came through this tribe route because if I can, I'm going to show you from a different angle our lighthouse. There you go. Can you see it? 
anybody still out there, let me know if you can see the lighthouse. That's the Gibbs Hill lighthouse. Nobody's responding, so I'm not sure you all can see it. Excellent. Okay. That's the Gibbs Hill lighthouse. Hopefully, I'll take you there in the daytime. All right, people. Got to go. Remember what I say at the end of all of my scopes. Live, people. Don't just exist. Peace.